to talk about a sample question, um, the likes of which you might see on, say, a national counselor exam or maybe comprehensive finals. I found it confusing, but I can, I'll can i give you the answer, and we'll talk about why that is, and maybe it will help with just your um, understanding of measurement principles and test distribution. All right, so I've already made some marks on here, and I have to do that, unfortunately, to find my cursor, but B is the correct answer. So I just want to say that from the get-go, and what we really are doing is comparing the local group to the national group. But let's read the question. Uh, respondent took a standardized aptitude test. It's easier for me to change this language to say a student took a uh, standardized aptitude test, which yielded percentile ranks for three normative groups. So essentially their score on that one aptitude test that they took is being compared to three normative samples. So the respondent or student's results were as follows, 55th percentile for local norms, meaning, you know, 45% scored higher. This may be, if it was an end of grade test, uh, like if this was an end of grade aptitude test, I don't think they have that, but they do have it for reading and, and math and so forth. This may be the local norm, maybe the actual school in which they are, and they're comparing this one student's scores with the um, sample scores of the actual school. The 69th percentile, as you see here, for the state, and then the 61st percentile for the national norms. Now we are interested here in the national compared to the local, okay, as we mentioned before. So if we come here and we look at um, the local group or the local sample, and we know that some people scored high, low on the test, some people scored high, and the bulk of them are in the middle. The bulk of our scores are going to be in the middle according to a normal distribution. From that, we calculate a mean, or the average score, for that local sample or group. And we know that our students scored in the 55th percentile as compared to that local group. Okay. So that's their percentile rank. Now let's come all the way over here to our national group because that's what we're looking at here. Is we calculated a mean and the student, remember they only took the test one time. This aptitude test was only taken one time and then they're comparing them to three different groups. They were in the 61st percentile. Ultimately what that's telling us is that the national group's mean was lower than the local groups mean. That's why they only scored in the 55th percentile as compared to the local group, but they scored higher in the 61st percentile when compared to the national group. And then as you can see here, the state group, that the state actually had the lowest uh, mean of them because our student with that one score was in the 69th percentile. So I'm hoping that that helps. I realize it's a little confusing and I've drawn all these lines, but just to give you an idea kind of about distribution and how these uh, tests are scored and we can determine percentile ranks. Let me know in your comments if this is helpful and good luck with studying and I'll talk to you on the next video. Take good care.